Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so I don't know why it's taking me so long to review this wallet, but today I'm taking a look at the Trayvax OG original. Well, technically not the original because it's the 2.0, but it's the OG 2.0. Let's check it out. Alright, so before we get started here, please consider subscribing because most likely if you clicked on this video, you're gonna like all my other stuff. Alright, so now that's out of the way, let's check out the Trayvax OG 2.0 out of the bag. And as always, Trayvax wallets always come with the Trayvax Hello card. And it shows you this little insert describing how to use this wallet, but I'm gonna put all this to the side for right now, but not until I give props to Mark. All right, so now let's run over some quick features of the Trayvax OG 2.0. All right, so it comes in four colors, a black, a gray, blue, OD green, and then it comes in a G10 variant. And of course, the color I have right here is OD green. No, I'm just kidding, it's blue. So the Trayvax OG 2.0 is a multifunctional, tactical, minimalist EDC wallet. And you can see here without any cards in here, this thing is super slim. Now the OG 2.0 is designed as a front pocket carry because you know, I don't think you guys wanna sit on this in your back pocket. It can hold between one and 15 cards. Also can hold five bills back here in this pocket clip. And I'll be testing all that out a little later on in this video. This front plate here is made from anodized aircraft grade aluminum. And this back plate here is made from stainless steel. Then you can see it's all woven together with this mil-spec paracord. And this mil-spec paracord is designed to be loosened or tightened based on how many cards you carry. Now let's take a closer look at this stainless steel back plate right here. Right here we have a pry bar. And having a pry bar on your wallet to me is extremely appreciated. And then check it out right here, we have these little finger grooves so you can hold on to it and get a nice grip while you're prying something open. And on top of that, these finger grooves really help with overall grip while you're trying to get cards out of this thing. And then on the opposite side of the wallet right here, we have our attachment point. Now this attachment point is gonna be really great if you have the Trayvax Keaton carabiner or the Trayvax Link. You can attach the carabiner right to your belt loop, the key ring right to this attachment point, and then you can never lose your wallet. Then we also have a pretty heavy duty money slash pocket clip right here. And then it wouldn't really be a proper modern wallet without a bottle opener. And yes, I kid a lot about everything having a bottle opener on it, but this one right here is actually a pretty nice design because if I turn it to the side right there, maybe you can make it out, but it's raised up just based on the shape of this money clip. And once again, these finger grooves can come into play because you can get a nice grip as you're prying open a bottle. And let's round out the quick features by mentioning yes, it does have RFID protection. And because it's Trayvax, everything is sourced and made right here in the USA. And it has the Trayvax 65 year heirloom warranty. All right, so even though it's made of stainless steel and aircraft aluminum, it's still pretty lightweight. I don't see the weight on the website, so let's weigh it. All right, so let's plop it on the scale, no cards. All right, it says it weighs 2.4 ounces and in grams, it weighs 68 grams. So yeah, even though it's made of this pretty heavy duty stainless steel on the back plate, Still pretty lightweight. All right, now let's talk about the use of the paracord here. I really love that they use mil-spec paracord. On top of it being very functional, being able to loosen and tighten just by pulling the paracord. If you get bored of the color, you can easily just change it out to whatever color you want. Now I carry seven cards. I already have this paracord stretched out to exactly hold seven cards. So basically what you wanna do is, the clasp is right here. So loosen the clasp up and take the two plates and separate them. Take all the cards that you wanna fit in there, put them all in at once, and there you go. So if you wanna carry more or less cards, all you have to do is loosen or tighten the paracord right here that's threaded through the whole wallet. So you just pull the paracord through there, right there, and just work your way all the way through to the bottom and just pull out the slack. So you can see where it latches right there, that tiny little lip that's bent forward, and the paracord has this little round metal piece. And then this little metal piece right here just easily fits right over that clasp and boom, there you go. It's not coming loose at all. In fact, I've never once had this thing come loose in my pocket in the three weeks that I was carrying this to get ready for this review. And these cards are fit very tightly in here, even with this clasp off of it. As you can see, 
These aren't going anywhere. And if you guys were wondering, I am using seven demo cards here, three raised number demo cards, and then four flat demo cards. You can see right here in the front, we have that nice ID window cutout. But say for example, you work at a job that requires you to flash your ID all the time. Well, that's where this paracord design really comes in handy. So you can unlatch it here, take your ID card, stick it in here as so, like that, and then latch it back up and then there you go. You have your ID card to just flash whenever you want. And this card is going nowhere, it's on there. But what about the seven cards inside here? So what you wanna do is this little ID cutout window right here, just push up your cards as so. And what I like to do is as I push them up, I fan them out like this and then pick out whatever card I want. So I want this third card or sorry, fourth card right here and then Boom, put them all back in the wallet. You can do it that way or just take advantage of this ID window and just cycle through whatever card you want and pick the card and take it out as so. So I've used both ways in the supermarket and they're both pretty fast and effective. So most people only use one credit card in a day and of course you wanna put that card right there on the top. And yes, that's super easy to get out. All you have to do is just push up on the thumb slot there and take the card out. So you can see the functionality of the OG 2.0 is pretty high. All right, so what about cash? They say it can hold five bills, so I have one, two, three, four, five bills right here. So I'm just gonna start out by folding this into quarters, all right, and then lifting up the money clip, and then there you go, five bills. And to tell you the truth, that went in pretty easy, so I'm guessing this thing can hold more than five bills. So I just added three more bills to the stack here, so that's eight bills, let's fold it into quarters and stuff it under there. Yeah, it fits, but it looks like we might be stretching out that pocket clip a little too much. So of course, I'm just testing out that pocket clip to see its limitations, but if I were you guys, I'd stick to five bills. So of course, you guys know I had to test out that 15 card max claim. So I'm gonna grab 15 cards, loosen up this paracord, and stuff those in here. All right, so here's 11 flat cards and four raised number cards. And as you can see, it took a little bit of finagling here, but I basically took all the slack out of the bottom and I believe this will hold all 15. So let's put these together and stick them in there. See what? Oh yeah, easy. Look at that. Easy, so let me latch it up. So there's 15 cards latched up right there. And to tell you the truth, I think on this latch, I could probably fit a couple more in there. There's three more cards. Let's see if I can get 18 in there. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and then, yeah, boom. I got those three cards in there. So there's 18 cards in the Travax OG 2.0. And now, of course, this is a minimalist wallet. I wouldn't really suggest putting 18 cards in here. But naturally, I have to test this out if they claim 15 cards. But I actually got three more cards in here than they claim. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Trayvax OG 2.0? So once again, I apologize for taking so long to review this wallet. And what a great original design this is, too. It's just super practical, super functional. Being a super slim, minimalist wallet and having tactical features on top of that, it's a great EDC wallet. Now, I will leave links below in my description box if you guys want to check out the Trayvax OG 2.0 for yourself. And I do have a special code just for my subscribers. It's CRISPY10. Enter CRISPY10 at checkout and you get 10% off your entire order. And I will have all that information below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!